Well, hello, I'm David Freeman Webb. Is that really in the Bible? There is something I would want to call the box of Christianity. And when you're in the box of Christianity, it is impossible for you to see outside the box because you're in a box. Now, I know all about this because I used to be in a religious organization and it wasn't until I got out of that organization that I would say things like, I can't believe I believed that. I can't believe I couldn't see that. Uh, you know, I just can't believe that. But it's not until you get outside of the box can you see what I call real truth, real truth. Now, the box of churchianity, let's, let's call it that. The box of churchianity is basically this. It is Sunday worship for 45 minutes. It is the celebration of holidays like Christmas and Easter. Um, of course, you know, you got to understand the, the, the Christian religion is the only religion that needs a mascot to worship its God. No other religion is like that, you know. Uh, you know it's like, okay, it's, it's almost as if Jesus is not enough. The fact that Jesus was born, that's not enough. We got to have reindeer, Santa Claus, and all, gift swapping and all that stuff. You know, the fact that Jesus was resurrected, that's not enough. We got to have bunny, bunny rabbits and rabbits laying eggs and, and all kinds of stuff like the Easter, tr Easter egg tree, whatever that is. Uh, you know, we got to have all that stuff in order to worship our God. And you see, when you incorporate pagan practices into your worship, you know, it, now, what you have is you have pagans sitting right along beside you in church. Because the pagans are there because it's fun. Oh, yeah, this Christmas is Easter. I love this stuff. This is fun. You know, I want to be at church. So when you incorporate pagan practices to worship the true God, you get pagans sitting right along beside you in church. And it's the pagans that causes all the problems, you see. They're the ones that say, well, I don't see anything wrong with gay marriage. And I don't see anything wrong with my boyfriend and, you know, we, we're living together. I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, they're the ones that causes all the problem. They're the ones that causes the degeneration of character in the church, the pagans. But you've allowed them to come in by using pagan practices to worship God. That's why I don't use pagan practices to worship God. I understand Jesus is enough. I don't have to have a mascot to worship my God. Why do you have to have a mascot to worship your God? Why do you have to have all these pagan practices to worship your God? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Why do you need that stuff? <clears throat> so the box of Christianity is, you know, it's churchianity. It's uh, Christian retirement. You've heard that one. You know, everything we go through down here is for the purpose of retiring in heaven. You know, like the Kentucky Derby racehorse, you're put out to farm for all eternity. Life really has no meaning but retirement. Uh, the box of churchianity is being tormented for all eternity in a lake of fire. Yeah, yeah, if you're bad, you go to hell, you're going to burn for all eternity in a lake of fire. You're going to burn, burn, baby, burn. You know, you're going to burn, and, but you never burn up because of the false teaching of the immortality of the soul. The reason you never burn up. But you know, it's cruelty, it's cruelty. I was watching something, I don't know why, but about years, you know, way back, I don't know when it was, but impaling people, where they take a rod, and I don't want to tell you where they begin, and they go all the way up through you, and it comes out the top somewhere, and it's, you know, stick it in the ground, impaling people. I thought, that's cruelty. Listen, anytime you see cruelty, either to animals or to other human beings, you under you got to put this in your pipe and smoke it. You're dealing with a diabolical spirit that motivates that cruelty. But I got to thinking how cruel this this impelling people was, and I thought, well, you know, Christianity has attributed cruelty to God. They've actually come up with a doctrine that says God's going to burn people for all eternity, and they never burn up. That's cruelty. We've taken an evil diabolical concept and credit it to God and said God's like that. That's what God would do. I'm telling you, you're wrong. Okay, You're wrong in that teaching. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.